Hello, this is She Vocal, and this will be my Ragnarok tutorial. I decided to talk about it instead of just reading it all out and emailing it to people because this way it's just easier to explain. Okay, um, before you start, you're going to need to get your supplies together. For your supplies, you're going to need black and white material, preferably more black than white. Um, it was also nice if it's fuzzy because it feels nice on the skin. Um, what else? Uh, you're gonna need your thread, black and white thread, preferably. Um, black fabric paint, paper, pe pencil, some stuffing to make your regular three dimensional instead of just flat. Pins sewing machine, fabric, and paper scissors. We well, don't really need fabric scissors, but it's a lot easier to cut with. Um, a tape measure, or a, whatever you can to measure yourself with if you really want to. It doesn't really matter. And Velcro, preferably white. Okay, step two, making the pattern. Okay, before you ma start making your pattern, you have to decide how large you want it to be. <laughs> um, since my right rock is based for, well, is made for cosplay purposes, I wanted him to be fairly large. So, what I did with mine is I measured the top of my head to like my mid back waist area and that's how I got the length of this and his ghost shape I don't really think he has legs at least you want to make him with legs I don't understand why but if you want to um, another really important thing when you're making Ragnarok is you want him to you want him to have proper proportions for his body like you don't want his head to be bigger than his arms and length his body to be short, shorter than his arms, just it just looks really weird. So you're gonna have to think about that while you're making your pattern. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so like I said, he's a ghost shape. Um, okay, when you're making your pattern, be sure to leave allow some allowance on the sides because this pattern. As you can probably tell, he's my Ragnarok is not this big. What happens is, is once you sew it like that much from the corners and the sides, it will get smaller. And yeah, it may seem large, but it's gonna shrink. Like I said, proper proportions as well. Um, okay, so we talked about the body already. Now for the arms. When I made my Ragnarok, I sectioned his arms off into three parts. You don't really necessarily have to do this, you can make two parts, but I noticed that he has some kind of like muscles over here, unlike me. Weak. <laughs> um, so, muscle parts. His section of the arm and his hand and as you can tell it, it does slightly go out like a cartoon hair kind of um, okay um, so obviously his hand is gonna be white and his parts are gonna be black on the black hand but this piece it's very important that you put it on hold. And what I mean by hold is this. Okay, so you see how these edges are rough like this? When sewing it, cutting it out, well, cutting it out, really, you lay it along the side that the fabric is folded over. Fold it over. And then you pin it. On the side, and then you cut it out. And that way, once you have it, you have it. 
cut out and everything, you open it, it'll be one big piece instead of two. And that way you won't have weird thing coming out the end. Like, for example, his arms, this is all one piece. It's just that it's joined over here in the inside. That way you can't notice on the inside. Okay, um... Okay, for his head. This is where it starts to get a little bit more tricky. So, please bear with my horrible explanations. Okay, so what I did for his head is... Well, first of all, I traced the circle because I don't think anybody can really draw a perfect circle. And if they if you can, you're amazing. Um, what I did was I found a small clock in my house and I traced that. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, for his X. What I did was... Sorry, it's the fold of my other video. Okay, so... What I did with this X is, um, I basically based it off a reference picture, but how do I explain this? Um, okay, so what I did with this is I did a lot of experimenting. What I originally did was I had two, piece, two long strips two really, really thick, long strips of paper, and I just taped them together. Hope it's gone. Find my shape in the middle. Um, how do I explain this? So, I used a ruler, obviously, for the sides to make them straight. You want the X to be symmetrical, otherwise it's gonna look really, really weird, and that the kid will probably kill you, if not freak out, and pass out. <laughs> Um, it's really about the X. Sorry if I don't explain it too well, but I don't know where my arm goes. Okay. If you have any questions, you can always just ask me. I get emails on my phone, so I try to email people back as fast as possible. For his eyes, it's just a base, basic, yeah, basic shape, circle. It's gonna be white. Oh, I forgot to mention. Uh, okay, um, for his body, big piece, you're gonna need two of them. Only two. For his arm, once you have them placed on the fold and cut out, you should have two of them. Unless you want to do four, but I really don't think you need two. That's it. You only need two if you place them on the fold. If you don't want to, For his ex, you need one. For his big head, you need two. For his hand, for his hand piece, you need four. And his eyes, you also need four. Okay, his eyes are pretty basic. What you're gonna need to do is um, trace a small circle again. I think I traced mine from a cup, a really, really small glass or something. And yeah, just want to use proper proportions again. Otherwise, if you have really big eyes, it's gonna look really, really creepy. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, step number three. This is when you. This is a time when you can use your fabric paint, only because it takes quite a long time to dry. And when I mean a long time, I mean like a couple hours, not like minutes. I know I made really, really, I made so many mistakes on this. Right. Okay, so you're gonna need your hands and you're gonna, need to, you're gonna need to cut them out of the white fabric. Oh, also when you're doing this, I probably should have mentioned this before, but you're gonna need a reference picture, obviously. Um, be able to tell what goes what's black and what's white hopefully if not I apologize okay so you need four of these just for the hands and on two of them okay how do I explain this um this 
probably gonna be really messy, first of all, so you might not want to wear new clothes, preferably. Like, if I wore this shirt with the black hour paint and I got it on my shirt, I would probably kill myself because Yoite, I'm severe Yoite, the Wario fangirl. <laughs> um, okay. So, you're gonna need two of these. And you're gonna wanna make sure that they're opposite. Um, okay. So, do you see on this how it curved? Okay, well, that is obviously not curved because the way I sewed it. But it's supposed to be like this and then come out like this. So, basically, his thumbs are on the outside. You're gonna need to have the different pieces, thumbs facing out. Because if you have one facing out, another one facing in, you're gonna have two of the same hands and. Well, you shouldn't be able to notice really, but if you're a perfectionist like me, you'll get on your case. Okay, well, so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna wipe them down. You're just gonna basically draw lines on his hands. Preferably, don't put them as close to the edge like I did. I didn't leave enough space when I sewed him, and now it looks a little weird. This is supposed to be fleshy. Um, that's basically about it now. Yeah? And you're gonna do the same with the eyes, except that you're just gonna draw a black X on them like this. Okay. I'm gonna end this video, start a new one, because this is already 11 minutes in.